I caught that on this little ripping wrap. Ultra light ripping wrap. Well, I think it's finally time to get on the water. I think we might have some ice. Today, I'm gonna try and do a catch and cook on a brook trout, and I'm spending the night to try and get that done. And a uh, side note, my back door stopped working on me. I can't get the hatch open. The button just doesn't work, which is really annoying. So I gotta get everything out the side door, including my sled and everything. It's been a super mild winter this winter. It's the winter of 22 to 23. I don't even know if there's gonna be ice, to be truthful. It's been two years already. Are they gonna take those signs down? I haven't been fishing since November, I think. It's been a while. Starting to get the fishing, the non-fishing blues. You are here with me right now. We're gonna go all the way here. We got quite a hike actually, longer than I thought. I don't know, probably got three kilometers to go. Okay, let's do this. Well, I've made it as far as site 11D. I'm really feeling out of shape. I don't know if I can make it to site 16. I don't think anybody would camp here tonight. It's Sunday night, by the way. I could get away with just staying at 11B. I think I can do this. I can do this. We're gonna get to 16. This is a pain in the butt to pull up hills. Oh my gosh. Yes, I did it. I did it. We're getting there. Well, I surprised myself and I made it. How long did it take me? I left at 11.20 or 11.40. So an hour, 15 minutes. Not bad. Beautiful little site. Lake looks gorgeous. So I think it's gonna be shallow on this end, which is perfect. So I probably wanna fish over here. Look at that ledge. Just a nice steep drop off. So that probably keeps going right down into the water. Don't know if you can see those icicles. No fishing is ever worth your life. And I'm out here alone. I don't know the conditions of this ice. I don't know what this lake is like. You never know what ice is gonna be like, especially with this mild season. So I'm gonna wear a life jacket. I'm really hoping to catch a brook trout. I didn't mention this, but I'm actually really counting on catching a brook trout so I can have it with dinner tonight. Otherwise I'm having Mr. Noodles with beef jerky. Let's get us a fish, eh? Let's get us a fish! Oh, I don't have my scoop. Guess I'm gonna have to do the old Canadian dip. Shoot. That ice is kind of thick though, right? How deep is it? 12 feet. I'm gonna set up a jaw jacker, let this do some fishing for me, and jig another hole. In case you don't know, this is an automatic hook setter, so it doesn't jig for me, and it only uses the power of the rod to set the hook. So it is legal here in Ontario. This pink stuff is similar to what they feed the stocked fish, and these are stocked fish, so you should know the smell already. This is a super, super light bait. Medium dip, right? Uh, write in the comments below if you've done this. If you have, then you know it's a lot of fun. Nice. Seven and a half feet. This is what I'm looking for. I like you. I don't plan on exploring anywhere new, on the ice that is. So, oh, there's my phone. So I think I'm safe without my PFD for now. I'm gonna put on a warmer jacket. No way. Battery on my fish finder just died. I guess at least I got my holes drilled so I know how deep I am. It's nice at least. Count my blessings, right? Count my blessings. Mr. Noodles, it is. 
Look at me go. Winning. Oh, I slept with the screen off last night. So I got to see all the stars. It was nice. But it was cold last night. So anyways, 7.30 now, I'm going to get up. I'm going to set some deadlines, and then I'm going to make coffee. Because want to catch fish. <laughs> Let's get a brookie. Let's get a brookie. This is the worst part about winter camping. It's having to get out of your sleeping bag. Because oh, it's so darn cold. Oh, it's so darn beautiful, too. Look at that. Would you just look at it? All right, breakfast and coffee's all done. Time to go jig us up a brookie. So I think I'm around seven to 10 feet maybe. So jaw jacker there and I'll jig right here. Okay, I know I said waking up and getting out of your bed is the worst part of winter camping, but this is truthfully probably the worst. Oh yeah, look at all that frost on that seat. Damn. That sucks. I heard alarm bells ringing. For the record, I hovered. I'm on. I'm on. Nice. I got one. Freaking A. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> I didn't even feel you bite. Truthfully, I didn't feel you bite. You were so subtle. There we go. <laughs> Just a little one. I don't know if I should keep it. I'm gonna let you go. Look at the beautiful colors on you. I really want to keep you, but you're too small to eat, I think. And you're okay, you're not bleeding. I think you'll be fine. You're so purple. Look at that. Well, I did it. I got one little brookie. Let's get this one back though, and maybe we'll get more. Look at those beautiful halos on it though. Look at that. Just a gorgeous little fish. I need something a little bit bigger than that, though. Yeah. Nice. I'm in about like eight feet of water. And I caught that on this little ripping mat. Ultra light ripping mat. A little guy. Just a little gaffer. Look at that. Like, my thumb is bigger than it. Let's get back down there. That is awesome. Didn't even feel it bite. I just felt the weight from the fish. I didn't really achieve my goal, but I still caught a brookie and I still got out ice fishing for the first time this year. It's mild weather, it was just great to get out here and do some fishing. Definitely wasn't mild overnight though. Anyways, if you liked that video, hit that like button and uh, maybe check out this video here where I did some solo camping here in Frontenac Park and did some crappie fishing. We'll catch you later. <laughs>